Hello friends. So if you have ADHD, are you at a higher risk of obesity? We'll find out. So, new research by the Mayo Clinic, which is a very prestigious organization, showed that there is a correlation between ADHD and obesity, but it's not in males, it's in women. So what did the study find? It found that overall, there was a higher incidence of ADHD women over 20 that were obese versus non-ADHD women over 20. It's actually 41.6% of women over 20 with an ADHD diagnosis were obese versus just 196 of non-ADHD women. That's a two times increase. I mean, twice as likely to be obese if you have an ADHD diagnosis. So why does it affect women and not men? There really isn't a good answer, but there's some speculation. So let's take a, take a look at some of those speculations. First of all, for those of you who don't know, ADHD is a acronym that stands for Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. It's mainly characterized by low dopamine levels, so this can result in not necessarily um, no attention, but wandering attention. It's really hard to stay on task, to stay on one particular item. School can be a difficulty, staying still can be a difficulty, they find that usually women are more of the inattentive types while boys are more of the hyperactive type. This is one of the reasons why they think that maybe why women are more prone to the obesity than the men who have ADHD because there's a higher kinetic rate with, with, with boys or men. So dopamine, what's dopamine? Dopamine is one of our three main neurotransmitters, our brain chemicals. What are the three main ones? Serotonin, typical antidepressants like Zoloft work on serotonin. Then there's norepinephrine, which gives you energy, and then dopamine. So dopamine gives you drive and focus. So people with ADHD are actually deficient or lower in dopamine. And to kind of make up for that, um, you can see a lot of impulsive behavior, uh, a lot of erratic behavior, and that's to almost stimulate that lack of dopamine. They, they need uh, something novel and exciting to kind of make up for that deficit of dopamine. And when they do take drugs that repair that amount of dopamine that brings them up to a normal level, you find that that impulsive behavior is severely diminished and they stay, instead of all over the place, they zero in and they focus. But if you take someone who doesn't have ADHD, their dopamine levels are already at a normal baseline, then you give them Ritalin or Adderall, you'll find that their dopamine goes too high and they're just, you know, off the walls. They're, you know, let's run a mile, let's clean the house, let's do this, which is a big difference between someone who have, has ADHD, takes Ritalin, and they're not all over the place. They're focused and they're like in, in the zone, you know. So this is a result of dopamine. So ADHD is already characterized by having low impulse control, not being able to control your, your cravings, your urges. You, you know, you're deficient in a brain chemical that allows you to more easily do that. So as a result, um, you know, eating. Eating is one of our biggest impulses, especially when we're emotional. And who's more emotional between the sexes? Uh, this isn't a sexist thing, but Generally speaking, women are more emotional creatures. It has um, not only to do with, with uh, their physiology and, and their makeup, but also hormones. So there is also a, a um, gender difference as far as uh, emotional state of being and how, how uh, emotions are dealt with. And so if you are more emotional and you have low impulse control, then naturally food, which is a common problem for binging, comes into the picture and it's not too much of a surprise that there is an increase in obesity. It's also important to note that within the study, 65% of the patients were treated with a stimulant medication such as Ritalin or Adderall. This did not seem to play any 
role or effect in the obesity rate, whether they took stimulant medications to treat ADHD or not. So the thing that did matter is that, or the speculation is, boys have more of a tendency towards hyperactivity and therefore are more active. They're going wild and crazy, can't keep still. They're burning more calories. They're also not as emotional. They're off being hyperactive and doing crazy stuff where women, young girls, may be having a more, more emotional times, more, more um, within themselves and looking for an outlet to make up for that low dopamine. And guess what? Eating increases your dopamine levels, especially sweets, um, chocolate, bread, ice cream, you know, all that stuff is, is uh, a lot of the times an attempt to increase our dopamine and make us feel better. And who's a more vulnerable population between the two? The girls with ADHD. So tell me what you think about this. Is there anything else that uh, we missed here? Could there be another possibility as to why we see this link between obesity and girls with ADHD? It's a good question. Thanks for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you found this helpful, entertaining, interesting, in any of those. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I would love for you to become of a, a uh, part of the community here. And we'll see you in the next video.